Hey, what's happening YouTube? It's Steve with Rake and Profit, coming back to you with another sales update video. Today's video, I want to show you some of the items that I've sold over the last few days. Of course, in hopes to be able to help you, to be able to recognize items, to be able to go out to the thrift stores and whatnot, and buy some cool stuff and make some money. But before we get into the sales update, I want to ask you if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe button that's on the screen right now, and if you find these videos helpful, please hit the like button. With that being said, let's jump right into today's sales update video and get you guys on the path to making some money selling clothing. First item I want to show you is a Brooks Brothers dress shirt, non-iron. This is a uh, 1818 made in Malaysia, traditional fit. Very nice shirt. It's got regular cuffs, spread collar. Paid five bucks for this and sold this for $22. Next item is uh, Patagonia. And like I was saying in my last video, if you haven't checked it out, uh, hit the link on the screen to my last video, uh, to my haul video. But this is a Patagonia and it only sold for $20. Usually if I have a Patagonia, I could get at least $35 to $45 for it. Um, especially if it's the T-Snap one. But this is a uh, 1 4th zipper Patagonia. And as you can see, there's no name on it. You don't see the logo on it. And this sat in my closet probably for two months and it really wasn't selling that well. Eventually it did sell uh, yesterday for $22, which isn't that much for a Patagonia. So make sure if you get the Patagonias, find it with the name on the front. Next sale is a pretty lousy sale. This is a brand called Urban Pipeline Up. I bought this a few months ago when I was experimenting with brands, trying to figure out what sells and what doesn't. It's actually new with tags and I only paid like a dollar fifty for it on a half off day at Goodwill. But it, it just wasn't selling, so I just took an offer, sold it for eight bucks, probably only made about a dollar on it. Here's another Patagonia. You can see the label right there. And as you can see, there's no name on the front. I mean, if you look really close at the buttons, there's the name on it. But if you don't have the name on these Patagonias, they just don't sell as well. I paid five bucks for this at a Salvation Army, and it did sell for $42. But if it had the name on it, I'd probably get more like 60 or 70 for a big jacket like this. A lot of Patagonia is going on lately. Here's a Patagonia, a beautiful one. I showed this to you in my last clothing haul video. And it's funny, right after I uh, shot the video, this thing sold. It sold for $90. It does have the name right here, which is very good. Full zipper. It's kind of like a fur uh, feel to it. One of the newer Patagonias and just in high demand. 90 bucks paid, I think I paid $8 for that. So that was a beautiful score. Keep your eye out for Patagonia. All right, here is a Harrison Tweed Blazer, 100% wool. Just has the regular buttons on it. If you find the wood buttons, it's better. And um, also look for the uh, Harrison Tweed Blazers that have the uh, leather elbow patch. Shout out to Coco Army for putting me onto this brand. I've already sold a few of these and you could get them for like two or three bucks at the Salvation Army. And they sell between 40 and 60 bucks. This one sold for 45. Next item is a Brooks Brothers Polo long sleeve. Keep an eye out for that logo right there, as I've been talking about. Uh, original fit, 100% cotton, performance polo, long sleeve, striped. Very nice, paid three to five bucks for this, I'm sure. Probably more around three dollars, and sold this for 17 bucks. Next item is a North Phase fleece. Showed this to you in my last sales update or my uh, last clothing haul, sold real quick. North Face, very popular. Everybody's wearing it. You're probably wearing North Face right now. But paid two or $3.99 on this and sold for $25. If it was a more thicker material, the bigger ones with the uh, kind of the mesh on it, full zippers, uh, thicker material, they go for more, probably more like 40 or 50, but 25 bucks on $3, can't go wrong with that. Very nice sale. Here's another good brand, Polo. Extra large Lacoste, it's the vintage one. And uh, striped 100% cotton, very nice. Paid two or three ninety nine in this, I'm sure. And sold this for $22, I believe. Maybe a little less, something around there. Nice shirt, look out for Lacoste, look out for the little alligator. Next item that's sold is a beautiful Pendleton. If you haven't been following me on my Facebook page at Rake and Profit, I'd uh, 
suggest you to go shoot over there. I do a lot of my sales update videos and pictures. I posted this up right when it sold. But a very nice shirt. Paid five bucks for this and it sold for about 45, I believe. Somewhere around 45 to 50 maybe. 100% wool. Has the wooden buttons on it, which is a very nice touch. Pendleton, can't go wrong with that. Next item that sold is another polo shirt, Brooks Brothers. And when you go out looking for clothes, take the time to look for stains and whatnot. Because I brought this home and didn't realize that it had a few stains. Uh, you might be able to see it right there. And I washed it. It just didn't come out. But it does have the logo. It's a golden fleece version of the Brooks Brothers. Still a very high uh, in demand, popular brand. So I was able to get $12 for it with a stain. If you have an item that has a stain and it's a good brand you can still sell it just make sure to take the extra pictures take the time to disclose it in the ebay listing so people know and uh, you won't have a problem selling it next item is a territory ahead very nice two extra large 40 percent silk 40 percent cotton 20 percent wool kind of a little blend of different materials nice color scheme to it Two extra large, it's always going to sell better. The bigger the better when it comes to clothing. And paid four or five bucks for this, and this sold for $22. All right, keep an eye out for the vintage Ralph Lauren polo sweaters. They sell really well. This is a size medium, 100% cotton, nice stripes, has the pony right there. This actually sat in my closet for a little while. It was getting a lot of low balls, but it did sell. This sold for $17. If you get the more newer ones with the more brighter colors, they do sell a little better, but still made seven or eight bucks for a few minutes time, not bad. And the last clothing item that I wanna show you that I sold over the last few days is a Pendleton. And what really makes this Pendleton stand out from the crowd is right here, if you could see it. Uh, it's got the leather elbow patches. The leather elbow patches are a really nice selling point when it comes to the Pendletons. They sell a lot better. Look out for the bigger, Thicker Pendleton jackets and coats with the extravagant colors. Look out for the wooden buttons. Look out for the leather patches on the elbows. Those are some really nice selling points and it's gonna increase the profitability of these items. So those are the clothing items that I sold over the last few days. And now I wanna show you a few items that I sold on Amazon. Amazon's been treating me really well lately, especially with the uh, video games. So let me show you what I found. First item is a Nintendo DS Horse Life. Paid two or three bucks, sold for 17. Crash of the Titans, found this at a yard sale the other day for five bucks, including like, I had like five other Mario games. Those sold within an hour each, but this took about a week to sell. Five bucks, sold for 14 or 15. Here's a game that I found over at a yard sale the other week. WrestleMania, complete in the box with the cartridge, manual, everything in here. Paid a dollar for that, and that sold for 13, so that's a nice turnover. Another Horse Life for Wii, three or four bucks, uh, sold for 18. And Spider-Man, Friend or Foe. These Wii games are hot. I mean, five bucks, 12 or 13 dollars, really quick. Amazon's so easy to be able to list your items up. So that's it. Those are all the clothes I've sold, the Amazon. Craigslist has been treating me really well, been selling a ton of bikes, been buying a ton of bikes. If you ever have any questions with that, shoot me an e email or shoot me a picture at Facebook at Rake and Profit and I'll help you out. Hope this video helped. Hope it's helping to allow you to recognize these brands and get more comfortable out there and start picking and making some money. Feel free to contact me with any questions. Make sure to hit the like button, comment, subscribe. Check out my blog at rakingprofit.com and have a great day. I appreciate all the support. Take care.